I'm just serving you guys a little fuzzy moment. So let me just sit here and look at this. All these products that I done bought over the month. Look at all these products coming together for good use. Look at that. Huh. Huh. <laughs> hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is definitely more chill, laid back. I'm not really doing a review. I'm just doing kind of like a recap of all the products that I've brought to you guys on my channel. I figured that since I review a lot of makeup, I should kind of give you guys an update on what I'm liking, what I'm not liking, things that I've returned. So that's what this video is pretty much. I'm just going to tell you guys the products that I like and maybe some things that I forgot to mention in past reviews. I'm going to update y'all on that now. So for this look today, I used all the products that I have reviewed all in one video to show you guys this fall inspired Starbucks pumpkin spice latte look. I mean, come on, get into it. It looks good, doesn't it? Before you get into the video, before you try to even watch anything else, like I said before, to some of you guys that keep coming back and you're not subscribed, like you're playing yourself. You're not playing me at this point, you're playing yourself, okay? Don't do that. If you're not subscribed to my channel, then you're, why do you keep coming back? So don't play you, don't play me, don't play we. Go ahead and subscribe. And we're gonna get into this video of all my makeup updates, so let's do it. Before we even get started, like one of my favorites for the month is gonna be my edges. Like shout out to the fact that my edges are trying to make a comeback because y'all, Postpartum shedding. Postpartum shedding had your girl, I was ready to fight. When I say all of my edges fell out pretty much, like right up in here, shout out to the fact that it's growing back. That's a favorite for the month. Might as well <laughs> shout out my vitamins. I do think that I can credit Nature's Bounty hair, skin and nail gummies for the regrowth of my edges. We're still a little sparse over here, but you know, but she's trying. For a while I had stopped wearing ponytails because I was like, girl, I can't be looking bald on the side. But now I'm just like, screw it. It is what it is. And shout out to my body for snapping back. Your girl's body's back, so. Yo, I've been doing a lot of makeup therapy lately and I just been, I've been on a spending roll. Y'all can tell by my last few videos, obviously. But I figured I probably should just go over all of the makeup that I bought recently just to give you guys an update of what I'm loving and what I'm kind of like, eh, eh. You know, y'all kind of need to know these things. Some of these things have departed from my collection and have made their way all the way back to Sephora. So I just figured, why not talk about it? Here's a preview of all the things that I've recently purchased that I want to talk about with you guys today because it's a lot. I've gotten a lot of things. This is not even all of it. Like, I only have uh, a few of the Mario collection. Some of them are definitely going to go back to the store because I don't think I need them. I haven't even talked about this on my channel yet, so I'm going to go over that with you guys. First thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about that I haven't talked to you guys about on my channel is the Fenty Skin. I've been using this since it came out, and the reason I didn't review it was because, like, how was I going to review a skincare line? right away as soon as I got it. Like there was just no way for me to feel like I was gonna do a thorough review for you guys if I was only trying it out one time on camera. So now that I've used it for like, I don't know what, it's been out for like two months, right? Or a month? I've used it at least a month and I like it. I don't think that these first few pieces are gonna be like the answer to your skincare problems. I just don't because if you have problematic skin, it ain't gonna solve your acne. It's just not gonna do that. It's a really good line for those of you that just want a basic everyday face wash, toner, moisturizer. That's what it is. It's not gonna, it's not gonna do life-changing things for your skin, period. I think I like the face wash the most because it's definitely really nice and lathery on the skin. Like it lathers up nicely. And then the toner, I love the toner. Like I would use this by itself even without the face wash. The SPF to me is a little bit too, it's a little too fragrant for my liking. I think it's a little too fragrant and it's a little bit thick so I prefer to wear this like on days that I'm not gonna wear makeup. If you were thinking about picking this up, I do like it but I feel like, I mean, it's just basic skincare so I'm kinda excited to see what they come out with next. Before I even start on my makeup or my foundation or anything, 
This lip gloss, I recently picked this up, Tower 28 lip gloss. I've been wearing this so much lately, like even more than my gloss bombs. It's not super thin, but it's thick enough for me to feel like it's on my lips, but it also feels like really nourishing. And on top of that, I like the color. It kind of just gives me that like natural, that natural pouty lip. So I've been wearing this a lot while I'm doing my makeup and then like changing it out for my regular lip color after I'm done. And I've also been wearing this on like no makeup makeup days. Cause I kind of think it looks like, it's like a really natural color. Just wanted to mention that Tower 28 gloss is really, really good. So recently I've tried new foundations. I've tried the Pretty Fresh foundation from ColourPop and the Beauty Bakery foundation. Both of these are really good and I've been using these a lot. The ColourPop foundation, I stopped using just a little bit because I had been out in the sun and it was looking just a little bit, a little gray. Like it was looking like it was a little too light. So I had stopped using this for a bit and I kept using my Beauty Bakery foundation. Now this one is definitely a little bit warmer so it's a good summer shade for me. But out of like both of these are such good foundations and I really enjoy them. This one is definitely a little bit more full coverage than the Pretty Fresh. So I like them for different reasons but I wanted to let y'all know that I have been using both of these a lot. And then also my Danessa Myricks, what is this? Illuminating Veil. I have used this. I've been using this underneath my foundation. That's what I'm gonna do today. It gives you like a nice glowy look. So yeah, I just take this and I blend it out on my cheeks just to give myself that nice glow underneath the foundation. And I'm gonna add that down my nose as well. What I look like is crazy. I look crazy right now, but once I put my foundation on, it all really comes together. So I've really been enjoying this. I can't say that this is like an everyday product for me because it's definitely not, but I have been enjoying it. This product is very similar to the liquid highlighters that came out in Selena Gomez's collection. And I actually ended up returning those because I, I didn't like it enough and I already had this. so. It went back to Sephora. I don't have any shame in my game returning products to the store. Like, <laughs> what this makeup is not gonna do is sit in my collection and not be used. I'm not gonna do that. I really don't feel bad when I have to return products. And I know a lot of people feel bad and, you know, feel guilty when they're, when they're returning makeup. Couldn't be me. I don't feel bad. Just know that if I get a product and I'm not enjoying it, it's just not gonna sit in my collection and go unused. Nobody has money to be wasting. Nobody. This foundation just makes my skin look, it just looks radiant, you know? Just looks natural and I love that. So now I'm gonna move on to like all the eye stuff that I purchased recently. It's a lot. Everybody has so many eyeshadows at this point so it doesn't even really make sense to keep buying eyeshadows but I, I just keep buying them anyway. When you're wearing a mask, like that's literally all that you can see so it's kind of fun to still do your eye makeup since that's like the only part of your face that you can actually see. But to be so honest, like ever since everyone's been wearing a mask, it's, it's a good excuse for me to go out looking a hot mess. Like I don't even care what I look like at this point. I got the Huda Beauty Khaki Palette and I haven't even talked about this yet on my channel. I love this palette. I've used it a lot and I love it. The only thing that I wish is that this green was a little bit more like rich and a little bit more green, just a little bit more green. Like the same color green as the packaging. That would have made this palette so perfect. But first I'm gonna use the Mario palette, the mattes, because I really like this shade for my brow bone. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on my brow bone just to set everything down. As far as this Mario collection goes, I'm keeping two out of the three palettes that I bought. And the other one is definitely just gonna have to make its way back to the spell. When I finished my review, everything turned out to be really, really good. Nothing was bad, but I felt like I wasn't gonna get use out of one of the palettes. And that was the Master Metals palette. I kind of thought about it and I was like, I'm not gonna really use this that much. And then when I thought about the price tag, it was $48, $48 for an eyeshadow palette that had five shades. And on top of that, the metal manipulator that you need 
to enhance the eyeshadows doesn't even come with the palette. I kind of just felt like maybe that wasn't the best, that wasn't the smartest purchase. But I'm definitely keeping this one because I really like it. And I'm also keeping this palette because I really like it. So now moving on to the Huda palette. I like the fact that these are travel friendly and I feel like her formula is really good. Only problem with the Huda Beauty palette is that I feel like the metallic shades or the shimmer shades need to be used with your finger. That can be a problem if you have long nails, like nobody really wants to dig their fingers into their eyeshadow all the time just to get color payoff. That's the only downside that I find with her formula. But when you do use your fingers, these things, they be coming off so, so pretty. Like I absolutely love. I feel like I always struggle blending my left eye out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the light reflecting off my brow bone, whatever, but this eye is always just a hot mess to me. So far I've only used this shade and this shade. Now I'm gonna go in the Master Metallics palette and use this. I'm not really a big fan of all metallic palettes, like a full palette of metallic shades, but these performed so nice on my eye that I honestly, I can't be mad at it. Like I really cannot be mad at this. Look at, look at the color, look at that. I mean, come on. How can you hate on this? I saw a lot of comments about Mario's collection saying that he should have started his line with cheaper prices so that he could prove himself. What? What What kind of logic is that? That just sounds crazy. Don't be mad at the price that people set for themselves. While some people thought that the line was expensive, I thought it kind of made sense for, for the amount of work that he's put in and his professional experience in the industry. The price point, it made sense to me and I I can't be mad at it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this green shade here with my finger. I'm gonna pop this right here on the outer half of my lid. You see, these work really nice with just your finger. Whereas I feel like the Mario eyeshadows work really well with the brush. Look at that mix. Oh, that's so pretty. Am I giving y'all fall? Giving y'all pumpkin spice latte. Giving you iced chai, two pumps of vanilla added pumpkin cold foam cream on top. Now I want to use this shade here. Do I? No, 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 no. I'm going to use this shade here. I'm gonna dot a little bit of this on here. Just a little bit over the top. Yeah. And at this point, I'm just kind of being extra and layering metallics over each other. I used the olive shade again, and I blended that out on the outer corner just to kind of bring everything together and get real cute. Am I the only person that like sanitizes their hands like in the middle of doing makeup all the time? I don't know why I do it. It's like a, it's just a habit I have. I like for my hands to feel squeaky clean at all times. I already did my concealer and my bronzer because I'm not gonna keep talking to you guys about the same products over and over again. Y'all know I like my Fenty concealer. I like my Fenty bronzer. That's what this is. Recently I picked up Fenty blushes, Rare Beauty blushes. Just an update on the Rare Beauty brand. This is the only thing I kept. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling the line like that. Like it just didn't wow me enough to keep it in my collection, but I really, really, really like the blushes. So that's why I kept this. And then the Fenty Cream Blush, um, this is the shade Rose Latte. This is the one that I use the most. And when I use both of these blushes, I typically will go in with my sponge, like the back end of the sponge and dab it on that way. I think I like this blush a little bit more because this one dries down to a matte finish, whereas this one stays creamy. And I feel like I can only use this if I have like a dewy foundation on, but if I have my face powdered down, like it just doesn't make sense. If I have a whole matte face and then shiny blush on, I, 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 can't, I can't get jiggy with that. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty blush. The Fenty blush is good, but I just feel like if I'm gonna wear that blush, it has to be on a day that I'm looking dewy. Like it cannot be me just, you know, out here wearing matte foundation and having shiny cheeks. I can't, I can't have that, you know? This blush just blends in so nice. This is the one thing from this line that I was really impressed with. 
everything else from Rare Beauty to me, I was just like, why is everybody going nuts about this stuff? Like, I'm really trying to figure out what the hype is. Maybe that's how people feel about Fenty. Like, maybe a lot of people feel like, what is the hype with Fenty? Even though I'm like one of the people that loves it. But for Rare Beauty, I just kind of felt like, what's so revolutionary about this, guys? Is it just the fact that people like Selena Gomez or something? I don't know. I, I can't. I can't understand it. And then there was like a whole bunch of like chatter about the packaging. Now I did hear that the packaging was pe for people specifically with lupus that had a hard time opening this stuff. And then it turns out that that never really was a thing. Like people just y'all made that up. So y'all had me do a whole review and say it in my review that this was for people with lupus and it it wasn't even like the brand never even said that so so i'm pissed is what i am but this blush is cute she popping though y'all see how that it just blended out it looks nice mm. another cheek product that i have is from mario and actually this is for the eyes and the cheeks this is the secret glow i just did this review so this is fresh on my mind i liked this in my review I dabbed it on, it was really nice, really glowy, and I still think it's really nice and really glowy, but I wore this the other day, like on a regular day, just to see how it would wear throughout the day, how it would stay on. And to be honest, y'all, my ponytail was sticking to my cheeks. Every time I turned my head, like anytime the wind blew, my hair was stuck to my face, and I just did not appreciate that. Like it was, it was highly offensive to me that that happened. I would have to wear my hair in a sleek ponytail and not have any hair down for this to work out on me. So that was a little bit sad because I really, I really wanted to love this, but this is a highlighter that I haven't talked about on my channel. Um, this was the MAC Tiana Taylor collection. This was the only thing that I got from the collection because I really like Tiana Taylor and I wanted to support. But to be honest, when she came out with this collection, like nothing, nothing in that collection was like, oh my God, nothing. Nothing. I thought that MAC would at least try to come up with something new. Like, come up with a new product for the girl. Do it for Tiana because she's, her body of work is so creative, but instead they gave us the same old products that they give us all the time. They gave us an MSF, they gave us some of the same lipsticks that have already been out 12 times. So this was all I ended up picking up. And at first I really didn't like it, but now, your girl be glowing. Now I'm sad that I didn't mention this product to you guys because I actually really like it. And it's in a color that MAC hasn't released yet. So, <sighs> sorry guys, but I'm gonna have to enjoy this on my own. Look at that glow, you see that? It's nice. Real quick, I wanna talk about the Mario highlighter. This is like a face and eye highlighter. I was telling you guys in my review, reminded me a lot of the Fenty Diamond Veil. I wanted to show you guys. I didn't really show you guys in the last video, but the formula is so similar. I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. This product, I feel like the reason I was not impressed by this is because it's almost like dry. So there's that. It feels like kind of dry to the touch, but it definitely is that wet look. And then this is the Fenty one. I know it's not the same color, But you can see like the Mario one just has really big glitter chunks. And I'm not really a big glitter chunk girl, whereas the Fenty one kind of gives more of that wet look because the glitter is a little bit smaller. So they both kind of do the same exact thing. So pretty much what I'm trying to say is that I don't think I'm keeping this. Another one bites the dust. They both do the same thing. And I feel like the Mario one is a drier formula, so. I think she's gotta go. I just wanna make sure that I'm updating you guys on how my makeup collection is shaping out because if I'm gonna be doing all these reviews and telling y'all the things that I'm buying and recommending products, I want you guys to know what I'm actually keeping and what I'm not keeping. I'm not on anybody's PR list, so I can't really just throw my money out there and have it stay out there if I'm not using this stuff, you know? <laughs> just in case I didn't rave about this pencil enough in the last video, this Mario pencil is so good. Like, I love this dark brown eye pencil. Am I the only person that this happens to? Like, every time I'm doing my mascara, I get a big chunk of it on my nose. Every single 
time. Now we need to talk about lashes because a lot of you guys have been asking me about my lashes. These are the lashes that I use all the time. I always use these lashes. I can get at least like 10 wears out of these lashes. These are only $3.99 at the beauty supply store. So these are the Kiss lashes. I Envy by Kiss. No, who is this by? Yeah, I Envy by Kiss lashes. Number 14, good stuff. And I also like the Velour lashes in the style Worst Behavior. I've had this set for so long. These are faux mink and they're really cute. So I'm gonna pop these on. The lashes are on and they're lashing. I went with the Velour lashes in the style of Worst Behavior. I never go wrong with these lashes. Like they just, I don't know, they just make me look like, like I wanna blink a lot when I wear these. Like I just wanna just. And the good thing about these lashes is that you can reuse them up to like 20 times or something like that. So I've like taken a spoolie brush, ran some water on them and like brushed all the product out and I just store them and they're back to normal. Back to good condition every time I wash them. But these are definitely way more than that $3.99 price point. I wanna say these lashes are like $29, which is a little up there, but I get good use out of them. Now, we gotta talk about some lip products because I've reviewed a whole lot of lip products in the last month. Yeah. Has it been a month? Maybe it's longer. You guys know I like to stretch out my videos. The first ones that I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the Juvia's Place. We'll start with the lip glosses. I love all the lip glosses. Like, I love all of the lip glosses. None of these were ever gonna get returned. Like, that was just never gonna happen because I like them so much. But I have to say that my favorite one is still Caramel Rose. So if you guys were considering getting any of the Juvia's Place lip glosses, this is the one you need her, Caramel Rose. Check out my video on these lip glosses if you wanna see all of them swatched, but they're great. As far as the lipstick goes, um, two of them are my favorites. This shade Muted, it's like a grayish color. It gives the perfect cool nude with a brown lip liner. This is the shade that I had on my last video. A lot of you guys were asking what my lip combination was. It was the shade Muted with the Cola lip liner and that lip combo, it was just, it was everything. And then on top of that, I had my uncensored lip gloss from Artist Couture. All three of these together is just chef's kiss. I also wanted to mention that Uncensored 2.0 has a dupe. Makeup Revolution makes really good lip glosses and these are so cheap. These two are just about the same color. And this one is less than $10 and I wanna say this one is over $20. This is in the shade Honeycomb and you can find these at Ulta. This is good stuff. And I don't think a lot of people talk about these lip glosses, so you should be able to find it in the store because they're never sold out. Uncensored 2.0 is always sold out at Sephora, so if you can't find this, make sure you get that. Then I have the Fenty lip glosses. I told you guys in my review, only two of the shades were my faves, and I still think that only two of them are my favorite. So I have been reaching for these a lot, but I feel like when these come out in full sizes, that's when I can like definitely say I recommend them. Ruby Milk and Taffy Teas are still, they're still bae, they're still good. So yeah, if you want to see these swatched, make sure you check out my last video if you haven't seen that yet. Wait, 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 wait. I can't forget, I can't forget. I tried the Maybelline Lifter Glosses because I heard that these were a dupe for Fenty Gloss Bombs. The packaging maybe, you know, it's kind of reminiscent of Gloss Bombs, but it's not the gloss bomb formula. I really like these, but the smell is so like generically sweet. It almost smells like NYX Butter Gloss times 20. And that's not okay. I don't like that sugary smell on my lips. It never goes away. The formula on these are really nice. It's a nice like, you know, thick formula, but it's not the gloss bomb formula. It's just not. I was looking at the amount of product that you get in here and 0.18 fluid ounces. And the mini gloss bombs, you get 0.18 fluid ounces. So look at the difference between this packaging. I was feeling a little scammed. Do you see how small this is compared to this? This would almost make you believe that you're getting more product than you actually are, when really, you're getting this small amount. If you're on a budget, then I would suggest these because they're only like $7.99 or something like that. They're a nice formula, but they're definitely not the gloss bomb formula, if you ask me. And then the other products that I wanted to talk to you guys about are the Fenty Slip Shines. This is the shade Makeup Break. I've worn this maybe twice since I've reviewed these. I just kind of think that some of these are a little bit inconsistent. The shade Makeup Break was way too thick 
to me. Like the formula was like kind of goopy on the inside of my lip and I still feel that way. But I wore this shade, which is Bubble Rum. I wore Bubble Rum the other day and this is like the perfect formula. So I don't know what the inconsistencies are in the formula, but this one felt really good on my lips. I didn't feel like it was gathering up. I'm kind of half and half with the slip shines. They're not my favorite Fenty product, not at all. For my lip combo today, I've really been loving the NYX lip pencil in the shade Espresso. It's like a really dark brown. Then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Fenty Unveil. I'm gonna use a little bit of this Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Toffee. but I wanna brighten it up a little bit. So we're not gonna stop there. And now I'm gonna use Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Lady. I think I wanna add a little bit of gloss. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Lifter Gloss just to top it off. And this, this one is in the shade Crystal. And it just gives it a little, you know, a little pouty look. Lip injections, where? No shade to those of you guys that get lip injections. I just don't get them. Took me a long time to love these lips. And that's the finished look for today. I've covered pretty much all of the products that I've reviewed, I think even products that I haven't reviewed. I'm still loving the majority of them. And I think I'm gonna start doing more videos like this more often, like more laid back videos, just kind of talking to you guys about products that I have in my collection, products that I'm getting rid of, products that I'm returning. Cause y'all, you know, keeping y'all in the loop. You know what else is a favorite? Look at this set. This is also a favorite. Cozy set from PLT, pretty little thing. Look at that, how cute. If y'all thought I was gonna spend all my money on skins, no. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. It's kind of more laid back, kind of chill. My poor lighting was all over the place because I was using natural lighting. I don't have a studio, I don't have professional lighting, so you guys are gonna take what you can get over here, okay? I tried my best. Make sure before you guys head out, you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Find me on Instagram at Breeze Louise. I'll have that link down below and you guys can catch up with me there because typically I'm more active there than I am on here, but that's gonna change. And I'll see you guys in the next one.